We are going to do some adding using a number bond. When we have three circles like this, it's called a number bond. The two smaller circles are the parts, and the big circle is the whole, or the all together. So, if we had three in this part, and two in this part, our question would be, how many do we have all together? We're looking for the whole. We can use our counting chips to help us solve these. I'm going to put three chips here. One, two, three. Now I'm going to put two more chips here and I'm going to use the other side of my chip so I can tell them apart. One, two. When I want to count all together, instead of recounting each chip, I can use counting up. I already know there are three here. Three. Now I can count up. Three, four, five. There should be five chips all together. If I want to check my thinking, I can put them all in the hole and count them up. One, two, three, four, five. Sometimes when we're doing part, part, whole, one of the parts might be missing instead of the whole. Maybe I have four in my part and seven in my whole all together. I'm trying to find out how many are missing in the part. I can use my chips again to, count, to help me. One, two, three, four. I know that this part is four. I want to find out how many more I will need to make seven all together. I can add chips and count out loud until I get up to seven. I know there are four here. Four. Four. Five. Six. Seven. I stop when I get to seven because I'm looking for how many up until seven. Now we can go back and count these up. One, two, three. I needed three more chips to get to seven from four. Four and three make seven. There's one more way I could solve this problem. If I know that I have four in one of the parts and I know that I'm going to have seven all together, I could start with seven chips. Then I can move them into the parts. I know that this part has four. One, two, three, four. How many are left for the other part? One, two, three. The missing part was three. You can solve this either way. 